special so far, and to be honest, while well, we feel we've given you the good, we've given you the bad, and now we need to give you the ugly. Let's get the ball rolling, shall we, with what I consider to be the major hiccup with this flaccid example of a skull-crushing, smash-and-bashing fighting game. Being one of the first games to use polygonal characters in a 3D environment just doesn't cut the mustard when it comes to this game because no matter how attractive a background looks or how luscious a character is depicted it still won't make up for the clumsy unappealing character movements that this game subjects you to. Which is a real shame because honestly the background in this game is absolutely stunning but all goodwill ends here. The addition of a convoluted sidestep defence move is while it basically sucks, it's unpredictable, it's awkward, and it's incredibly difficult to master, which is probably not so much a fault of the game's engine, but more due to the fact that there's a completely ridiculous button sequence involved to actually learn how to master this move. But then I come back to the magic of this game, the graphics, and why the crowd asks. Well, let me tell you. I love the use of polygons, not those nasty little 2D sprites. Bruh. God, you know what? They got it right with the rest of this game. Why couldn't they just get it right with those character moves? Then there's the crappy, almost non-existent storyline. And God damn it, this game sucks on a whole new level. Take away the groundbreaking graphics and what do you got? Well, basically, just another average fighting game with an ineffectual fighting engine that truly doesn't utilise its 3D capabilities, leaving you with the impression that the developers have just dumped on you another run-of-the-mill 2D fighter. i got to admit, the audio is clean, though nothing special. A couple of notable background tracks, some crisp voiceover, but those character moves, oh, I just can't get past them. They really suck. If luscious flowing backgrounds float your boat, then knock yourself out. But if you demand a little bit more from your fighting game, particularly in the play combo department, well, then seriously, don't waste your yen, dong, a rupee, dollar, whatever you earn on basically this rubbish. And speaking of hard-earned dollars, just the other day I was reading the tech section of the Daily Rag when I came across an interesting article centred on the growing demand for used consoles and games out in the market. Xbox 360s, PS3s, Wii's, of course. But in that market there is a growing niche for products like old consoles and retro games. And to the smug generation out there, welcome to my world. Consoles like the Dreamcast, the N64 and the PS2 are being sought for in ever-increasing numbers. Considering that in just Australia alone, the games market was reportedly worth $2 billion last year. And a great number of people would have traded in older games and consoles for a more recent unit. So, I would imagine there's a hell of a lot of equipment out there in the hands of second-hand dealers. Figures apparently show stock levels of used equipment is holding steady, and gamers are not rushing out to purchase these items, but are hunting around for bargains on auction sites, etc., and aren't willing to pay as much for this equipment as what they were before the economic downturn. Now, consider that. Maybe it's the time for any smart, prudent gamer to start looking around for those must-have, want-to-have items. Or even if you're not buying right now, just keep an eye on the market and see what this used equipment's actually selling for. Because we all know the end results are that as an interest in these peripherals and consoles actually starts to increase, well naturally the price rises, doesn't it? But then again, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this whole fad will die in the ass, and the tossers that are currently fueling this retro fad will get bored with their consoles and games and start to get rid of them. And then you can find your favourite second-hand console in the local op shop for $5 with two dodgy controllers and an incorrect power lead thrown in for good measure. You figure it out. Anyway, I'm Grub. That's my two cents. Do we dream? <laughs>